Running socks. Running socks. Do they matter, YouTube family? Remember, these socks arrived from Solomon uh, maybe about three days ago now. I am going to finish opening up these, and yes, we're going to talk about the different types of running socks, uh, at least begin the discussion today. I'm not going to compare all the different types out there, but uh, I am going to give my thoughts and opinion on whether or not you should even even consider or care about different types of running socks. I probably shouldn't be opening this up with my teeth. I was told that's not good for my teeth. Okay. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So again, these are Solomon socks. I'm gonna put these probably in the high-tech category with respect to running socks. And so again, we're just gonna begin the discussion around running socks, the different types, and then also look at uh, the different factors that might go into your decision making for race day, for uh, long runs, for recovery days, for freezing, you know, freezing weather, hot weather when it comes to running socks. Thank you, Solomon. Oh my goodness. All right, putting them on the feet and mixing them in with the Mizuno Wave Knit R2. That's right, <laughs> Solomon and Mizuno today. And in case you missed my first impressions of the Mizuno WaveNet R2, upper right hand corner, go check it out. And this is not going to be my first impression of the Solomon socks. Uh, I will do that in a second video. Uh, but you know I love Solomon running shoes for the trails especially, so it'll be interesting to see how these socks perform, see if they can live up to the, uh, to the running shoe lineup of Solomon. All right, let's go. Haven't been to the uh, post office in three or four days. I guess that's what's gonna happen if you don't check the mail in three or four days. Oh my goodness, YouTube family. Wow, wow. So, so when I first uh, opened the box at the post office a minute ago, I had a little freak out. I thought for a second, oh no, all the shoes that I sent out last week were returned because I either had the wrong address or I didn't put the address down correctly or I, I missed the zip code, but have no fear. These are not return shoes. These are all shoes from all of you out there. Okay, I don't have time to open all of the boxes, but we're definitely going to dive in to a few of them before we get into the socks. So, oh man, let's, let's go get the knife. I think I know what this is. All right, first box. Basically, I believe I know what this is. Uh, I've never raced a marathon, and so I am trying to dial in my nutrition. So this box is a box of uh, basically hydration uh, mix from UCAN. Remember I talked about UCAN at the live stream about uh, probably two weeks ago now, and a lot of elite marathon runners use this. It's spelled U, the letter U, can. Next shoe for the giveaway. Oh, oh yeah, I actually know what this is. I almost got this shoe. So this is a Skechers shoe, and this is last year's iteration from the Boston Marathon 2018. All right, you ready for this? Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yes. Oh, that looks amazing. Look at that. So I believe, I believe this is the Go Run Ride 7. Brand new, brand new, never worn. And it's the Boston 2018 version. So just last year's model, but look how, and it's so cool because the Boston Marathon is coming up in like three weeks from now. This is obviously not a shoe box. Uh, this is coming from Ohio. Okay, I have no clue. Let's figure it out here. Hold on. Oh. 
What could this be? What is this? Are you serious? <laughs> oh my goodness. That is amazing. Can you see that? Cleveland. This is the Cleveland Marathon. It even has my name on it. May 19th, 2019. Oh my, this is a map of the Cleveland Marathon. Somebody, I don't know who yet, somebody put my name on it. It already says finisher, so that's a good sign. May 19th, 2019, and guess what I'm like, you know what I'm liking as I look at this map? A lot of straightaways. That's what I like in a marathon course, not a ton of turning. Jacob, oh, shout out to Jacob. You're the best. That's amazing, thank you so, so much. And now we are in the studio talking about running socks. Yes, running socks. I will say that I am not a running sock expert. If you really, really, really love running socks, let us know down in the comments. I must say, I would say in the last 12 months especially, and even really in the last nine months, I've really started, and I know this sounds a little strange, but I've really started to dial in my running socks, meaning the types of socks that I really enjoy running in, the ones that really bring me comfort, uh, I'll just say breathability, uh, a little bit of cushion for the long runs, etc., etc. This is a very, very... <laughs> a uh, specific topic within the running gear lineup. And you're probably wondering right now, especially if you are a newer runner, which there are a lot of uh, viewers out there that have told me in the comments that like, listen, I just discovered running three months ago and I'm 50 years old, or I've, I've been running for six months and I'm training for my first half marathon or whatever the case may be. Believe it or not, there are differences out there in the running sock lineup. And we're not gonna get into all of the uh, nuances of the different socks that are in my hand right now. This is simply a conversation starter. And okay, I also wanna dive in, hold on real quick, to some comments on Strava today. So today's run, I did 11 miles, and the title of the run was Running Socks Testing. And a couple people have commented about some of their favorite socks and just giving their opinions on socks. So listen to this, this is from Fred. My favorite uh, is my favorite sock is Smart Wool PhD Ultra Light Cushion. That's amazing, Fred. Very specific. I love it. Uh, let's see. Baltsu says I've done a little bit of the same testing lately. I had to find good enough socks for the Hoka Mach 2, so that's interesting. Kind of pairing socks to a uh, to a particular shoe. And let's see. Jack said, "Here's a curveball for you." True socks, really popular popular among soccer players to stop turf toe or heel slippage. Would love to see you, your take on them. I must say, Jack, I don't know if I've ever heard of True Socks. And that is, uh, and then here's another uh, comment from Jeremy. He said, I have some True Socks, which are great for soccer shoes. Very pricey though. So that's good to know, Jeremy. Anyway, that's a little bit of the conversation happening. And yes, there are differences in running socks. So let me run you through uh, my lineup here. So like, for example, Mojo. These are my compression socks that go all the way up to basically my knee, and it provides some uh, compression on my calf when I'm sore. All right, so that's Mojo. And the next sock is Stance. And I don't know the whole story behind Stance, but I must say, this is a top three sock for me. Very, very comfortable. Okay, moving on. Next sock, Smart Wool. Yes, wool. I know it sounds a little strange. Like, why would you want to wear wool? Uh, and I have not tested Smart Wool very much in the summertime, but in the wintertime, I'm bullish on Smart Wool. Love Smart Wool. Okay, moving on. Dry Max. I used to be a bigger fan of Dry Max. I'm not as a big a fan right now. I think they have a little too much polyester or whatever the the kind of the fake uh, thread thread is inside this sock. It just feels a little too. I I'll just call it plasticky uh, when it wraps around my foot. So I'm not as excited about Dry Max these days. Sorry if you're a Dry Max fan. Okay. And then we've got Solomon. This is like the high tech sock that arrived in the mail in the last couple days. I ran in this sock today and uh, I need to put more miles into the sock before I can give you my first impression. But uh, yeah, it's just a very, very, a lot of, I know it's crazy, but a lot of thought process and technology and different types of threads 
went into this sock from Solomon. So again, stay tuned for my first impression on Solomon. So those are a few of my socks in the lineup and there are more. For example, I forgot my darn tough sock inside. It's an orange one. You've probably seen it before and I love that darn tough feel for longer mountain days. I don't know why, but it just has enough cushion but um, anyway, yeah, darn tough. I love it for my longer mountain days. And okay, with running shoes and running shoe reviews, you can like feel the ride of the shoe. It's a, I will, I'm just gonna call it now. It's gonna be a little easier to give a review or an opinion on a shoe versus a running sock. Like I foresee this being a almost a bigger challenge because it's a little more nuanced. The differences between socks that again, I know we're splitting hairs just a little bit talking about running socks, but believe it or not, there are differences. And I'll also say just kind of one last point is in high school, I was in cotton socks, and yes, I even wore cotton socks in college. Like, listen, socks are socks. Like, let's not get too overly uh, concerned about running socks. But I do think um, you can dial in, especially as the distance of the race you're doing gets longer and longer. I think it really can make a difference in how, maybe not in how you perform, uh, but in your comfort level which could impact your psychology and your mental strength in a race. Like if you're, if you have a, 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 a hot spot developing on the inside of your foot that was caused because a sock was too thick or a sock was, uh, scrunching up because it wasn't, you know, it wasn't designed well or whatever the case may be, that's really going to impact your race. Uh, so it might not give you a, a direct advantage as far as how fast you're going to go, but it will, it could help you uh, remain calm in a race by not even having to think about the sock that you're wearing. Does that make sense? And of course, the key word is socks. That's right, we're talking about socks today on the vlog. I love it. It's like, you know, we're starting to make some, uh, some inroads into the running world when we're now talking about running socks, right? Right? All right, question of the day. I, I, I struggled a little bit. I don't know if I want to ask you. All right, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna talk more about socks in the future as well. But what is your favorite brand of running socks? And why make your case down in the comments. And I guarantee you I'm gonna be going down reading the comments because there are endless, endless opportunities for running socks out there, all right? And let's see, like who knows, maybe you'll learn something and you'll be able to investigate one of these pairs further. Perfect. Come on, here we go. I'm gonna show you something. Ooh, so yay. YouTube hey, YouTube. Hey, right. girl, hi. Date night. <laughs> Date night. Enjoy this. Okay. Are right, you ready for this? Okay, yeah. And open. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It already has my name. Wow. 26.2. Oh, we're going to frame this. We are ready. We're going to frame this. Oh, yeah, but it means I got to finish because it oh, says you're finish gonna finish. We're going to finish, right? Uh, how's this going to finish? Shout out to Jacob. Thank you again for sending it. Isn't that you so too, cool? I know. That's I don't so know sweet. how we even did that. I love the colors. I love the quality. 26.2, baby. Very cool. So, this is so awesome because this is historic. His first ever marathon. Yeah. You know we're going big. We're going big. Oh, so. my gosh, babe. We're framing this. I think we frame it. Yeah. Actually, so, a, a frame arrived in the mail, but it kind of broke in the transit. Uh, anyway, okay. we'll figure it out. Oh, we'll this. figure it out. It came from um, are going above and beyond. So, seek beauty. Work hard. And love each other. See you in Cleveland, baby! See you in Cleveland! <laughs>